Artist Michael Owen has always been drawn to hands, an inspiration that has come to define his renderings on streets, in galleries, and just about anywhere his tender touch is welcome. I use hands in a lot of my work. They bring a human element into it uh, without being too overbearing on detail of who that person is. The hands show that there are people there, show that there's potential relationship there, but beyond that, give way to a greater meaning. Hands personify action, too. And it wasn't long after he sketched the word love in a notebook that the 27-year-old Baltimore resident knew he had found his call to action. The inspiration for the Baltimore Love Project is the most powerful thing that I've encountered before, love. Owen, a Seattle native, lived in Cleveland and Orlando before moving to Baltimore to attend the Maryland Institute College of Art, or MICA. Baltimore, in its own quirky, unique way, has loved me. This is my response to that. His work has literally stopped traffic. Jackie Bello is a 24-year-old teacher. She was on her way to work at Teach for America one chilly April morning when she saw Owen and executive director Scott Burkholder painting a love mural in Highland Town. Here it is, like in my backyard on Eastern Avenue. The girl was so excited about the mural that she pretty much forgot what was up? I made him a fool of myself because I rushed out the car, left the door open, like left the trunk open. Basically got out of her car, left it, I think, running. I ran out of the car and I was like, are you guys the love guys? And I was so excited that there was going to be a mural right here in my neck of the woods, like stamped Baltimore or Highland Town. Echoing Bella's enthusiasm for the Baltimore Love Project is developer Joe Schultz, whose $5,000 contribution funded the Highland Town mural. If it makes you stop for a second, think about something good and positive, then that's what it's all about, right? The Highland Town mural is one of 20 the Baltimore Love Project hopes to spread across Baltimore in neighborhoods of varying socioeconomic status. Three others have been completed. One at the Mount Washington Arboretum, another in Carroll Park, and the latest mural at Holland's Market. Baltimore resident Emily Fisher got married five blocks from the mural midway through its rendering and saw not only a way to connect with her neighborhood and city, but also a photo opportunity. The most exciting part for us was that since it was just primed, um, there was a special gift that the E, if I can do it right, had a black a wedding band painted on it. And so we got to take pictures in front of that and it was just a really special way for us to connect to it. My mom refers to our wedding weekend as the Baltimore Love Project. Christina Burden, a teacher at Baltimore City Stadium School, helped found the Youth Dreamers Project in 2001. She has brought the students to see the murals as a source of inspiration. At the Highland Town mural, one student said, this mural tells me that the city is a very important place and just because other people may feel that it's not safe, we should still love it. Another student wrote, the mural shows that you should love everyone around you and stop all the hate. The way it shows this message is with the hands. The hands belong to four different people. They use teamwork to make this mural and in order to have teamwork, you must love your team members and not hate them. Photographer Bonnie Shubb has chronicled the Baltimore Love Project with blog posts and images. Some space that used to be a very ugly space or a very ordinary space becomes special. And I also think that people will look at their hands in a different way. Hands that could spell out love. So instead of using a fist or flipping somebody the bird, you know, they can use their hands to spell out love. The hands bring us back to Michael Owen and speak to his unique style, says Whitney Sherman. It's got a very dance-like quality to it. Um, and I think that it's, um, it's got the boldness that appeals to really young people. So there's playfulness. I can see children growing up and remembering that, that wall mural. And it's got a lot of heart. The whole love theme and, and getting the uh, communities to um, uh, embrace this whole idea of love and you know people you know it's a, it's a mind shift they just need to see it they need to get a visual all the time and it, and it probably changes change their thoughts. The Baltimore Love Project is a full-time job for Owen and Burke Holder who spend the most hours securing permits and fundraising. Michael Owen is not going out in the middle of the night putting love on walls he's doing it with the support of the community his, his real vision is to affect some small change in individuals to make them stop and think about this word and what it means in their own lives. This is not a money-making project for me. This is an expression. This is a project that I need to get out of me as an artist. 
to feel like I have done my duty of putting out into the world what's inside of me.